Hello, hello, lovely kindergartners. It is Mrs. Giovanni from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. I am ready for another fun math lesson today, and today we're going to be counting one more. So we're, we will kind of get in the habit of doing that quickly and learning a couple little tricks along the way. So we will warm up with our fluency game, then we will do our application problem, we will um, get into our main math lesson and our concept development. We'll do our exit ticket and then we'll talk about what we learned. So that is our plan for math. Okay, let me share my screen with you and we will get started. Last math lesson we were counting, um, we were kind of adding and combining sets. We're going to take a little break from that and we're going to go to lesson 29 where we will order and match numbers and dot cards from 1 to 10 and then we're going to tell one more. So we're going to match up some numbers and put them in order and it will be fun. So if you have like some scrap paper and you can um, write like the number 1 through 10 on that and then maybe cut them out and uh, mix them all up or if you have like uno cards or just number cards from um, with the numbers just one two, three, four, five, if you have something like that that you can work and you can order along with me, that would be fun. But if not, you can just follow along with me, right? That's why I'm here, so you can just follow along with me. But I always like to give you guys the option of um, how you can do this um, with your hands as well, because I love when students are working with their hands with math. Okay, so let's get started. This is kind of like beep the number. But instead, I'm going to need your honesty here and your integrity. I'm going to have you close your eyes and I'm going to cover up one of these numbers with a penny. Abraham Lincoln is on this penny. And we're going, I'm going to cover up one of these numbers. Then I'm going to say, okay, open your eyes. And I want you to guess the number that I covered up. So you're going to have to look to the number to the left and to the right to find out which number I covered up, okay? Then next, we'll do this game like three times, and each time I'll cover up another number. So we'll end where I covered up three numbers that you have to count, okay? Or you have to figure out. Okay, so I need your honesty. Close your eyes. Okay, open. Which number did I cover up? Or, well, let's see. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. Good one. Okay, you ready? Close your eyes again. Open. Okay, which number did I cover up now? Or, let's see. Well, I left off three, four, five, six, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You were right. Okay, last one. Close your eyes. Open. Okay, which number did I cover up now? Six, seven, eight. 10, 6, 7, we know that, 8, 9, 10, you got it. So I covered up 4, 7, and 9. <laughs> that was a fun one. You could play that game at home too. All right, we're going to move into our application problem now. Put 10 little dishes below. Okay, count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven. We're having a lot of people at this party. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, I have two rows of five. That makes ten. Five and five is ten. On some of the dishes, draw one scoop of strawberry ice cream. Okay, on some of the dishes, some. Well, some isn't really a number. So I'm just going to draw a dish or a scoop on like four. Does that sound good? Okay, four. One, two, three, 
four. That's some, right? Okay. Um, on the rest, draw one scoop of chocolate ice cream. Oh, I had chocolate ice cream last night. I love chocolate ice cream. Okay, I don't really see a brown for chocolate, so I'm just going to do a black and we'll pretend it's a really dark chocolate. Okay, so I have to draw on the rest, right? So I'm going to draw my scoop of chocolate on the rest of my dishes. Whoa, I can see now four of my dishes have strawberry ice cream and one, two, three, four, five, six have chocolate. Mm, I have more chocolate than strawberry. Six is greater than four. Cool. We drew six, we drew 10 total scoops. Four strawberry, six chocolate. Four and six makes 10. Okay, now we're going to play a game called mix and fix. Hey, that rhymes, mix, fix. Look at the numbers below. Oh, goodness. These are all out of order. Do you think we could fix them up and put them in the correct order, starting with the number one? Okay, I think with that we can do that. So we have to count up. Start with one and then we'll put it all the way up to 10, just like we did on our number path when we were um, doing our number stories yesterday. Remember that number path? Let's try and recreate that. So we'll start at one and we'll get to 10. If you have your number cards, you do it along with me, okay? So here's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're getting there. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Okay, let's double check that I did this correct. Remember what I always tell you guys it's always great to check your work and math. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, we did it. Okay, now we're going to play another game with our cards. And this time I'm going to teach you another way to count and it's called the one more way. And counting this way will really help you guys understand the concept of um, numbers increase. That means they get bigger as we count. So you're going to echo this with me. That means when I say something, you're going to echo me. Like you echo in a big cave. I do this a lot in my classroom. I'll say echo, and you just repeat what I said, okay? So here, I have one. One more is two. Echo, one more is two. I have two. Echo, I have two. One more is three. So you're just gonna copy what I said, okay? I have three. I have three. One more is four. One more is four. Good, it's kind of like a song, huh? I have four. I have four. One more is five. Four is five. I have five. I have five. One more is six. One more is six. I have six. I have six. One more is seven. I have eight. I have eight. One more is nine. One more is nine. I have nine. I have nine. One more is ten. Good. That was fun. You're going to stop echoing me now. <laughs> Your parents will say, what's going on? So we counted from one to ten the one more way. One more each time. Good work. Okay, we're going to play one last game now. I'm going to pick a number card and I want you to help me find the dot card that is one more. So I picked five. Now let's come down here. Here's five. I have five. One more is six. Five. One more is six. Good. All right, let's do this one two more times. I have eight. I have eight. Okay, let's come down here to eight. Here's eight. Five and three, that's eight. One more is nine. One more is nine. Good. Okay, let's do this one one more time. I have two. I have two. One more is 
three. Good work. All right, let me show you your problem set. That was a fun one. I'm gonna have that stuck in my head. I have three. More is four. <laughs> I don't have that stuck in my head today. Okay, so now count these balloons. Either on a piece of paper or just in your brain, draw one more balloon or just think of one more balloon. So if you have four balloons here, how many would one more be? I have four. One more is, and choose how many more, how many one more would be. Count the basketballs. How many would one more be? Count the balloons. How many would one more be? And then count the basketballs. How many would one more be? Got it? All right, that was a fun one. I had fun singing with you guys. We did so much counting one more. So each time we count and we say a number, one, two, three, four, the numbers increase by one, one more. This will be a really, really important concept to know when we start adding and adding quickly. All right, guys, I will see you next math lesson. Bye.